Hello guys, in this video I will be showing you how to install your stapling finisher to your Konica Minolta BizHub copier. Now the finisher uh, that I'll be using for this demo is a FS534 50 sheet multi position stapling finisher and that fits most of your uh, current models such as your BizHub C224, 364, 454, 554, 654, and 754, as well as all your E series, uh, the model that end with the little E in front of it, which is the most current model. Uh, so if it looks like this, then pretty much this finisher will fit. But just to make sure, you could always look at the front of your finisher, and there's a little tag here on the bottom, and that usually has the model right there, 534. So, um, Let's get started. So now, one thing that I have to let you know uh, that you must do is make sure the copier is turned off. Do not connect the finisher with the copier on, otherwise you will get a code. Um, it'll start jamming, it will not recognize it, and you'll, you'll be thinking there's something wrong with the machine when there really isn't. So make sure it's turned off, and I'm not just saying this power. You want to open up the front door and, there, and turn off the main power, okay? Uh, sometimes it will work by just turning that off, but I, I like to use the main power. So let's get started. Um, so for to connect the finisher to your machine, you definitely need a bridge. If you bought a machine from us, then you can guarantee that the bridge will be installed. Sometimes we remove these metal brackets, but we usually like to leave them on so that you don't have to try to puzzle them together and figure out which ones uh, go to which. But if for whatever reason we do remove it, there's two different types of brackets. The smaller one goes in the front and the larger one goes in the back. And they usually, you, they got little, uh, little, uh, little uh, like rivets here that kind of align where they'll go. But just kind of see if it looks like that, that goes in the front, the larger one goes in the back, okay? Another thing, sometimes during freight they get smashed up. Don't worry about it. Uh, you can just get pliers and make sure you straighten it out. It's, 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 it doesn't play, the only role it plays is just to make sure your finisher is aligned. So it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. So if it's smashed, grab some pliers, screwdriver, bend it. Like this one here is a little bent, so I usually just with my hand straighten it out, and there you go. So don't stress too much if they're bent, okay? You don't have to replace them unless they're completely broken off, which I've never seen that happen, okay? So uh, let's get started with... Um, connecting the first of two cables. You have one cable coming out of your bridge and you got another cable coming out of your finisher. Okay, we're gonna do the finisher cable first. So we need to get to the back of the machine and we need to remove this decorative cover here, okay? Sometimes you have a screw, oh, there's one screw that holds it in right here. Sometimes it comes with a screw, sometimes it doesn't. So this one has a screw, so I'm just gonna remove it. I'm using an electrical screwdriver just because it's faster, but you could just use a regular uh, number two Phillips screwdriver. That's all you need. So once you get that screw out, uh, put your finger here and here and just kind of like, just pop it out just like that. You don't have to put it back. Um, this is just a decorative cover. If it goes up against the wall, you really don't need it. Nobody's going to be looking at it. But if it's sitting in the center of the room, it looks prettier just to have it on. So it's up to you if you want to put it back or not. Uh, so let's go ahead and connect the cable. So you got a cable, uh, a two-piece uh, connector coming from the finisher. You first want to put the first uh, connector on the bottom here. Just push it in. And the second one, make sure you uh, gently uh, align it and then just push it evenly in, just like that. Now, if you do want to put your cover back on, um, you, uh, I usually start with this side. I put it in here and fit the black cable here. Uh, some, some machines have one cable, others have two. And the, the, when you have two cables, it's because you have a dual scan document feeder, okay? So without going into detail, uh, the difference of the document feeders, just remember your, this one's always gonna be uh, there for sure. If you have a black one, you wanna put it through this little slot here and the gray one goes here. And just simply push it in and that's it. Again, it's up to you if you want to put the screw back, okay? But right now, I'm not going to do that. So let's go to the second cable. So what I like to do is I like to uh, put it in a V shape just like that so I can stick my hand in here. 
grab the uh, cable and uh, align it to the socket here, the little fitting, I should say, and just gently make sure it just pops in there just like that. Okay, once it's in there, uh, you're almost done. Next thing we need to do is open up the front door. And there's a lever here. You need to pull that out, okay? And that lever, pretty much, if you can see, it, there's like, a, like another lever that sticks out. That pretty much goes in here just to hold it. And same thing back here. This, this bracket will slide in here and lock into place, okay? So what you do is roll the finisher right to the back, just like that. And make sure this one is aligned just like that. And push this in. And then it's locked. So you know you have it in position. You have the finisher uh, connected properly. So the back will move and the front will move. Uh, you have the option of putting a screw in there to hold it in place. I gotta be honest, I never put the screw there. But I mean, if you wanna do it, if you, if you, if you feel more comfortable having the screw, uh, put it in there and just keeps it from popping out. But this is pretty strong. It doesn't, it doesn't pop out uh, by just using the machine. And unless somebody's rolling the machine from room to room, which never happens, I don't think you need a screw, but it's really up to you. Uh, so just find a screw, put it in there, and it'll, it'll keep it from popping out. And you're, uh, so you're pretty much done now. So you close the front door, turn on the machine with a power in here, and you're, you're done, you're set. So if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, leave us a, a reply or leave us a comment on this uh, site or visit us online and chat with one of our reps uh, directly from our website. Um, thank you for watching.